The cosmos, the sky above us, has fascinated us all. Astronomers using modern telescopes have discovered planets beyond our solar system, explored distant galaxies, and seen the effects of supermassive black holes. We've been able to learn about the birth of our universe and compare it to fascinating theories. But what about energy and matter so dark we cannot see them directly? And what about the intriguing fate of our universe? New telescopes are giving us a window into the depths of the cosmos to unravel these mysteries. The newly constructed CHIME telescope in Canada is now operational and detecting cosmic radio waves. CHIME employs a radically new design and is one of the largest astronomical research instruments in the world. It's unlike a traditional telescopes because it has no moving parts, yet maps the full sky overhead every day. We can explore different places on the night sky, but also look back to much earlier times in the evolution of the universe. As we look at things that are further away, we are essentially looking at the universe as it was a long time ago. This is because we see objects that emit light, and light travels at a fixed speed. Light is quite useful to explorers of the sky. To investigate the early universe, when it was much younger than it is today, we frequently need to look at the sky with light that our eyes can't see. In many cases, this involves using light in the form of radio waves. Light comes in many shades. While visible light is more familiar to us, Radio waves are still a big part of our everyday life. Think about Wi-Fi and Internet and how the technology we developed around this in the last decade has enabled us to collect and efficiently process information at an extremely fast speed. CHIME, which stands for the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, is one such telescope that probes the sky in the radio band. It's located at the Dominion Radio Astrophysical Observatory in southern British Columbia. Now. CHIME is not your everyday telescope. CHIME features four 20-meter by 100-meter long semi-cylindrical reflectors similar in size to snowboard half-pipes, with 1,024 radio receivers placed along the centers of the cylinders. Signals from the radio receivers, sensitive at about 40 to 80 centimeter wavelengths, are digitized and sent to custom-built processors that sort this massive amount of information into usable images. This custom processor, the telescope's channelizer and correlator, is presently the largest radio correlator in the world. To image the sky in real time, the amount of information CHIME's correlator must process is roughly comparable to the information flowing through the entire world's mobile data network, more than a terabyte every second. Traditional telescopes use large, expensive dishes that collect light from a small region of the sky. This makes it easy to zoom in on a small region of the sky if you are interested in studying a specific object like a star or a galaxy. But CHIME is different. CHIME can connect the spaces between these objects and piece together a more complete map of the sky. Along the center of CHIME's cylindrical dish, many detectors are able to localize objects in the overhead sky and extract concise information about them. Imagine that a faraway galaxy located directly above CHIME is emitting radio waves. Part of these waves will eventually hit the detectors, which sends digitized signals to custom processors. These processors can then reconstruct the path of the waves to determine the location of the galaxy. But what happens if the galaxy is slightly to the side? Will we still be able to see it? The answer is yes. As long as some waves hit the detectors, it's possible to reconstruct the galaxy's location. Of course, there are some objects, such as those shadowed by the Earth, that will emit waves, which will never reach CHIME. This limits CHIME's field of view to a stripe of the sky directly above it. Going back to our familiar 3D world, CHIME is actually oriented from north to south, and it makes use of the Earth's rotation to sweep a great arc of the sky. Finally, it's now possible to map out a large section of the sky and study in more detail its most mysterious and intriguing parts. Innovative developments in telescopes enable us to look to the edges of space and further back in time than would ever have been possible with our own senses. Fast radio bursts, dark matter, dark energy, the accelerating expansion of our universe, and ultimately its birth. Unraveling the mind-blowing mysteries of the cosmos no longer seems like a faraway dream, but an emerging reality.